So here's a new ARM processor right here at the Renaissance booth. And uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Mark Roots. I'm with Renaissance. I'd like to tell you today about the new RZG2, a group of microcontrollers that we just announced. It's a group. Yep. So wh which one am I looking at here? What is this? This is the RZG2 right here, this device. It's a multi-core ARM Cortex A53, A57 device. And so it's right here, A57, A53. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah. This is a mess. Yeah. But uh, so 57, 53, you say? No, it, it's, it's an A, A53, A57 combination. So at the low end, we have two A53 cores. At the high end, we have uh, eight cores, so there are four A57s and four A53s. Uh, these devices are for industrial applications that are mission critical, which means they have very high performance, a multi-core up to 1.5 gigahertz uh, operation. And five gigahertz? 1.5 gig uh, gigahertz. 1.5, yeah. Yep. And the memory is protected on these devices with error correction code capability, both internal memory and external memory. How do you say you protect the memory? Is something special about how you do it? Yeah, in hardware, there's actually some uh, error correction code hardware that will detect and, and fix errors. So these are 16 nanometer devices, and the smaller the geometry, the more susceptible any geometry is for alpha particle uh, penetration or corruption of data or code. So having ECC will detect and correct those for so mission critical applications. You say 16 nanometer? 16 FinFET. Yeah. The whole chip? The whole chip, yeah. The whole chip is on a 16 nanometer FinFET? Correct. And uh, so that means it's uh, not too far hungry? Correct, dynamic current is very good. So high performance ECC correction for the memory, so reliability for industrial applications. But on the software side, Renesas uh, distributes a Linux package, a verified Linux package that's uh, tested, integrated, and released by Renesas uh, with middleware Linux core or uh, Linux kernel. But inside the, the Linux package is a CIP Linux kernel that is maintained for 10 years uh, for, for ten updates. 10 year maintained. So you're talking about industrial grade Linux? Exactly. Uh, CIP, what is the CIP? So CIP is part of the Linux Foundation organization and it's a civil infrastructure platform project. And it's Renaissance, it's uh, Siemens, it's Hitachi and Toshiba are the main contributors. And as a, as a community, we maintain that over 10 years. Nice, let me jump over here on the other side. So right here. So uh, are you showing something about it? Yeah, so this, this is an example of the yeah. capabilities of RZG2. In this case, it's a video, video phone application where we have one, one board, this is one processor from one camera, and underneath here is another board for the other camera, and it's creating a video phone using the many uh, camera inputs and video outputs for this processor. So this processor is capable, capable of 2K and 4K video, so 4K video decode with H2.65 protocol, uh, very efficient, very fast. So what does it do? So here, we're, we're, uh, this is simulating a video phone, one camera for this side, one camera for this side. Ah, video call. Yep, and it has the audio right. as well. And what, this is a big board right here, is it an evaluation board or? Yeah, so this is board was uh, for internal development, but this board is the one that would be commercially available. This so, is a 96 uh, boards form. So it's an enterprise edition, 96 boards? Correct. Uh, can, we, can I look under here a little bit? So you have a heat sink on the chip? Yeah, so a heat sink is not always necessary, but for high graphic intense applications, there is a need for cooling. But this is a, a uh, 1.5 gigahertz processor running. And what do you have here connected? Is it a module? Yeah, so that's an extension board to uh, uh, connect external devices for development. So high speed buses come out there, uh, external memory, those type of things for development. Is made together with Hope Run or? You Correct. call it the High Hope. Oh no. Is that the is that the, the module, right? Yeah. The, the board itself is comes from the company High Hope. Ah oh, the whole board, yeah? Yep. And this is the uh, development platform for that. So the development board is developed in, uh, together with Hope, Hope Run and available for sale? Yes, so in the middle of the year they'll be available for sale. Uh, for a good price? Uh, so um, 
So how does it compare with all the other solutions? Like, nobody's doing this kind of stuff? Well, the biggest differentiator for this is the, the verified Linux package from Renesas that we maintain, we distribute, but inside of that Linux package is the 10-year support for the uh, CIP Linux kernel. And that includes security updates over the 10 years, it includes backporting uh, major features during that uh, big portion of that time, but also for real-time patches. So Linux is not normally known for real-time operating characteristics, but with these real-time patches, we get that much closer to determinism uh, and, and very fast response time. Is this a new new deal? Uh, you did the CIP and did this uh, uh, real-time, this uh, embedded uh, kind of support? Yeah, CIP was formed a couple years ago. Like I mentioned, those four companies, Renaissance, Siemens, Hitachi, and Toshiba, and others. So this is the, be the beginning of uh, this industrial grade Linux that has long-term support for many customers in this industrial space. So all the security updates are just going to come out for, for 10 years? For 10 years, yeah. Some backporting okay. features, security updates, and also real-time patches. And uh, the market are um, all the industrial markets you can think of? Or? Yeah, robotics. Uh, this is for industrial human-machine interface, so gateways. And just uh, user interfaces with with high definition uh, monitors uh, for building automation, for surveillance cameras, for robotics, is motor control. So many of those embedded Linux applications. And you provide automatic testing system. Are you are you part of the Linaro uh, testing systems or? No, but Renaissance does test and integrate and test these uh, these Linux distribution releases, and we supply the test code for, to our customers so they can test in their system for uh, Linux uh, compatibility. Is this a previous board that you had, or? Yeah, so this is the RZG2. This is the second generation 64-bit. Yeah. And this is our first generation RZG1 that is 32-bit. So this has been around for several years. So we're, we're, uh, we're migrating and we're evolving from 32-bit here to 64-bit with the Cortex uh, a53, A57. Yeah. So essentially, this is ARM V87 architecture. This is ARM V8, ARM and, V8 architecture. And, and V8 adds uh, a lot of things that are good for the embedded markets. Yeah, for for this class yeah. of 64-bit, yes, yeah, performance, Vir extra capability. Kind of virtualization or something like that. Or? Yes. Yeah. So lots of different things can happen. All right. So uh, availability. So these, is the shipping? so these are sampling now, and by the end of the year, we'll have uh, mass production for two of the four groups, and then by the middle of next year, we'll have mass production for the other two. So there's there's four different groups of yeah. processors. Can you just uh, show here? So yeah. you said that it starts with two A53s is the smallest one. Yeah, so currently we are announcing these two that are sampling now, and these are two Cortex A53 processors, and this one is or six. Uh, this is two A57, two A53 processors, and these are sampling now, mass production at the end of the year, and then these two will be sampling uh, next year and also mass production next year. But these are all compatible families. 